Hi, uh, I'm John Bearden. I'm one of the leaders at Wellspring Family Church here in Deerham, and uh, we love living in Deerham. It's a great place to live. Hi, I'm Chris Densham, and I'm one of the leaders of the Baptist Church in Deerham, and likewise, we love Deerham. Now, in spring, summer of this year, churches right across the county of Norfolk have been asking the people of Norfolk one question. What hurts the most? Or, to put it in another way, what one thing in life do you find hardest to handle? Across the county we've had over 18,000 responses and here in Deerham we've received uh, over 1,800 responses, so about 10% of the county-wide total. So we've been listening, but we've been speaking too because we're part of this as well. It's universal. People hurt whether they go to church or not. As we've been receiving the responses there's been such a variety of different types of hurt and pain in people's lives. It's been very hard to, it, to know how to categorise it, but one of the things that we found that so many people have expressed is the hurt that comes as a result of losing loved ones, or indeed of the fear of death itself. We found that for many others it was suffering, especially various kinds of sickness and pain. We found, of course, that for many people a whole range of negative emotions has caused them terrible hurt, whether it's stress, loneliness, depression, anger, fear, uh, worries, anxieties of all sorts. It didn't surprise us either that money worries are a massive issue in Deira. We all have people that are dear to us and, of course, relationship problems have been a source of enormous hurt and pain for many as well. So we've been listening. And we understand hurt, because we all hurt in one way or another. Now through uh, the autumn and the winter of 2014, as churches across the county and our churches here in Deerham, we're wanting to respond to what we've been hearing. We don't have all the answers, but we do know one thing, there is hope. We're going to be exploring in a range of ways how this hope can help us to overcome the hurt that we all deal with. And we would love to meet with you and to share with you this hope. And so to find out about the various groups and the various responses and what's going on, we invite you to look at or to visit one of these websites. You can also contact us if you'd like to talk about any of the issues that have been raised through this survey, or maybe even somebody to pray with you. Everyone hurts but there is hope.